Chapter 3096 opens with Erika storming out of the Pharrell mansion, determined to confront Marco and Shiloh. She has just learned about their ongoing affair and cannot contain her fury. As she passes through the hall and exits the house, her sister-in-law Catherine watches from a distance. Erika is moving with such speed and purpose that she is soon out of sight, getting into her car and driving off to confront the pair. Catherine, concerned for Erika's safety and wary of what might happen when Erika confronts Marco and Shiloh, decides to follow her sister-in-law. While she is not particularly worried that Erika will act irrationally, she knows Marco and Shiloh may try to turn the situation in their favor. And she doesn't want Erika to be outmaneuvered. On her way out, she receives a phone call from Mr. Fraser, who is curious about her sudden departure. Catherine explains that she is heading to help Erika, who is going to confront her cheating husband and Shiloh. Mr. Fraser chuckles, commenting that Catherine seems more interested in watching the drama unfold than in actually assisting Erika. She admits that part of her motivation is to witness the spectacle, but she insists she will also support Erika. Mr. Fraser, amused by the unfolding situation, expresses his desire to witness the confrontation himself. However, she advises him to stay away reminding him that their mother's assistant is nearby and would report anything unusual. Before ending the call, he cautions Catherine to be careful and not get hurt, teasing her about her confidence in her fighting abilities. Catherine brushes off the comment and focuses on driving. Meanwhile, Erica arrives at Celebrity Garden, the location where she suspects Marco and Shiloh are hiding. However, she is unsure which building or floor her husband's apartment is on, having left in such a hurry that she neglected to gather this information. Frustrated and at a loss for where to go, she receives a phone call from an unknown number. The caller provides her with the exact location, room 1603 on the 16th floor of Building B. The call ends abruptly. And although she doesn't recognize the voice, she quickly deduces that the person on the other end is likely her mother-in-law's male assistant. The assistant, who is known for his calm demeanor and efficiency, has often been an unseen force behind the scenes, pulling strings and providing key information. Armed with this new information, she wastes no time finding Building B and taking the elevator up to the 16th floor. Once there, she locates room 1603 and steals herself for the confrontation by taking a few deep breaths before ringing the doorbell. Inside the apartment, Shiloh hears the doorbell and assumes it's one of her brothers, as they often forget their keys. Shiloh's casual attitude and familiarity with the situation are jarring to Erica, who realizes that her husband's brothers are likely aware of the affair and may even be complicit in it. This revelation fuels her rage, and she quickly sends a message to the sisters-in-law group, urging them to come to room 1603 for what is about to unfold. By bringing the other sisters-in-law, into the situation, she ensures that there will be witnesses and allies on her side during the confrontation. As she opens the door, she is surprised to find Erica standing there instead of one of her brothers. Her initial shock turns into confusion as she questions why Erica has come to her apartment. Her nonchalant greeting only further enrages Erica who is prepared to expose the affair and demand answers. The chapter ends on this note, with a confrontation between Erica and Shiloh about to unfold.